Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to One Shot. Now, One Shot is easily one of the highest rated games I've ever seen on Steam. It has over a thousand reviews, all glowing, saying it's an amazingly immersive world that breaks the fourth wall and pulls you in. And it's got a 98%. So, by all standards, people say that it's very, very good, so I'm eager to see what we have in store for us here. Should I use a gamepad? Nah, I think I'm good. Let's do this. Let's do this. Explore and interact with the environment and the characters. Sometimes you may find an item. Once you picked it up an item, you may select it from your inventory. When the item is active, you can either combine it with your other items in the inventory or use it at certain locations in order to progress. Although full screen is an option, the game is best experienced in windowed mode. Closing the game will save your progress. This game also auto-saves after some key events. Really? This is what I'm thinking. I don't know a lot about the game, but it said something about breaking the fourth wall. Is that why it's best experienced in windowed mode? Is it going to do something to me? Hello? Okay, hi. How are you doing? Oh, shit. <sighs> Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? I can't move. There we go. Okay. Input password. I don't know the password to my own computer, so I'm going to go with mm, that. Access denied. I can't imagine why. Hello, dusty books. It's too dark to read in here. Really, is it? Well, I could turn on a light, but that'd just be a waste of power. There's a TV remote here. Nico picks it up. So my name is Nico, huh? Well. What am I doing in this destitute room? Is this my room? Oh, hello, bathroom. How you doing? A withered plant sits here stiff and dry. A branch snaps off. Do I take that? A pair of luminous yellow eyes stare back at Nico. Are those my eyes? There's no water in the toilet. The tub won't run. This place is a shithole. What are we doing here? The door is locked. Well, I guess I'm gonna be stuck here for a while. Maybe I could just go back to bed. Maybe I don't even remember where I came from. Maybe I don't even remember who I am. So I got a television remote. It's too hard to read in the dark light, a flaky dry branch from the bathroom. So I do have that branch. That's gonna help me in the long run. I know I'm going to be doing a lot with this branch, but maybe I can read, maybe I can read the, uh... These can't be combined. Shabuski! In the faint light, Nico can glimpse the face of the remote. All the numbers except 9, 8, 1, and 4 are missing. So, if I remember the order correctly, 9, 8, 1, and 4. 9 is red, 8 is blue, 1 is yellow, green is 4. 9 is red, 8 is, ye uh, eight is blue, 1 is yellow, green is 4. 8 is blue. 4. This is 1, and that's 9. Got it! Got it! I did a puzzle! Everybody be happy for me! Yeah, I don't- you don't have to be happy for me. I'm just saying, like, everybody in my head be happy for me. Oh shit, hello. You found me. Yeah, I did! Hide and seek's over, let's get back to home. Why? You're already too late, not much of the world remains. This will go- this will be apparent once you go outside. This place was never worth saving. Do you still want to try? Then remember this. Your actions here will affect Nico. Whoa! I thought you were talking to... Nico there! You're talking to me? Your actions here will affect Nico. Your mission is to help Nico leave. And most importantly... You only have one shot, Mark. Don't do that to me! Don't you do that to me! No, no, no! That's bad! Oh, okay. Ah, I only have one shot. I was wondering if the name of this game was going to be anything like the You Only Have One Chance Flash game. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier. How are you doing? The TV gives off a dangerous looking spark. So I gotta be careful with this because if I only have one shot, I could mess everything up very easily. The wood in the fireplace looks like it was never used. Perhaps it could be lit, fam. Maybe. 
Mmm, locked. Tasty. Alright. So let's skedaddle over here. Inside the refrigerator is a bottle of alcohol. Nico takes it! Time to party the night away because this world is going to hell. Just a table, just a chair. Alright then. Sink won't turn on. Nothing over there. I think I've looked at pretty much everything in here. What is that? Ah, that's a big keyhole. It's the biggest keyhole I've ever seen. Maybe I could poke my branch in there. Whoops. Alright, hang on. Get this. Put that, stick it in there. Get it in there. Stick it in there. Go on, don't be shy. Come on. Alright, fine then. So there's gotta be something else that I can do. Nikki Nico readies the branch. It doesn't manage to light. Oh, I forgot there was a spark coming from that. But maybe if I combine Nip Nico dips the branch. Nico dabs it in there. So if I use that on this, it'll light on fire. Ah! Alright, and then I've got a lit flame. Bl oh, that that doesn't look good. Is that is that Something glimmers on the ground, a small metallic object wedged into the crack in the floor. Nico digs it out. What did I get? A basement key! Okay, and an empty bottle. Wait, did the sink run? I can't even remember if it ran. Let me see if I can put it in there. Nope, that didn't work at all, but maybe I can put it over here? Yes, I can. Oh, I don't want to go in there just yet. I wanted to see if I could fill the bottle up. Oh, man. This is so cool, by the way. The sink won't turn on, so there's no point in doing that, but I do have an empty bottle, and I can remember that as I go farther into this. Also, if you notice, there seems to be no save mechanic, which I'm assuming it means it saves automatically. But I don't know what I'm getting myself into, so... I don't even know if I'm gonna come across a decision. Is that a light bulb? Hello? Alrighty then. Grab that. Sweet! Nice! A light bulb! Whoa! Nico has some magic powers that I didn't know about! I got a light! It's really quiet now all of a sudden. I thought it was a little less quiet here last time I went through this. No, it's- it's just- it's really quiet. Why is it so quiet down here? Oh, I can put it in there. Light bulb. It's the sun. Do you mean that legitimately? Like, it's the sun? I don't know if I want to put it in here just yet because I can go in the other room and I can read the books. Now I should be able to anyway. Ad infinitum. Ad infinitum. I don't know what that means. Alright then. I just don't know if there's absolutely anything else that I need to see. Maybe I could shine a light out the window and someone could find me here. Ad infinitum. Okay. Alright, so I just take this light bulb and I pop it in that bad boy. Boop! Boop a doop! Hello? Squeaky squonky. Where am I now? What's left of a computer terminal? How did I get here? There's no door. How did I get here? What is that? Just the, the edge of the abyss? Alright. Oh. Hello? What is that? That is huge and tall and probably a metaphor for something. You can quickly travel to locations you've already visited by f selecting the fast travel option in the menu. The default key for opening the menu is A. Fast travel cannot be used indoors. Okay. Good then? A robot. It no longer has power. So this world has the technology for robots then. And weird shimmering lights on the walls. What's left of a robot? Ugh. Fascinating. Weird. So, why are- ooh, uh, I guess that was a loading screen. Oh man, what uh, what am I doing here? Is this- Ah! That light bulb! You are here! Me? Yes! Welcome to our world, friend! I'm most humbled by your presence, yes! Uh, thanks. Sorry, I'm a little lost. Ah, right! Allow me to explain some things. May I first ask how you arrived here? 
I'm not sure. I woke up in this weird house. It was really dark. Oh! So you woke up in an unfamiliar dark location? Mm-hmm. Just as my prophecy foretold, yes? You are the savior we've been waiting for! You'll be the one to save our world from the eternal darkness! Ah, that's a lot to put on my shoulders. I will now provide you with vital information. Please ask me anything. I'm like a Reddit AMA. Ah, well, can you tell me about this world? I'm not sure where I am exactly. I can't see too far off, everything's so dark. Our world was not always this dim, nor was it so broken. But time waits for nobody, not even saviors. The world is divided into three regions. You're on the fringe right now, the barrens. That tower you see in the distance once held our sun. Oh, so that's what the tall thing was. As you go further towards the center, you will cross the other regions. There should be a map still in this outpost somewhere. Ah, oh, can you tell me about the light bulb? I found it in the house I woke up in. Within your hands is our new sun. Your sun? Yes! Years ago, our previous sun sat atop that tower and spilled its life into the land. But one day, the light went out. Oh. The world is still hanging on by a thread. The surface of this world is abundant with an element called phosphor. Fortunately for us, this element stored light energy from our previous sun. It's now our only source of illumination, but its energy is finite. When the last of the light dies, our world will too. Oh, I missed that, sorry. But now that you're here with the new sun, all is well. You will need to restore it to the tower. That looks pretty far off. Yes, so begins your pilgrimage. Also, the sun is fragile, so pl please be careful. If the sun shatters, the world will end in an instant. Oh, can you tell me about the computer? In the house, I found this computer. Kang kept saying stuff like, your actions here will affect Nico, but I'm Nico. Are those messages meant for someone else? Hmm. If I had to guess, they might be trying to pass the message to Mark. Mark? Ah, that would be our god! Yay! Finally, the recognition I deserve! If you are here, that means Mark is here also. Mark will provide guidance for your journey. In fact, they already have. Really? I haven't seen anyone, though. Have you not contacted Mark yet? I don't think so. Being the bringer of our son, you have the sacred ability to communicate directly with Mark. An ability that no one else possesses, certainly not I. Please close your eyes and focus. All right. I'm going to talk to Mark. Me. Hello? Mark, are you there? Hey, how's it going? It's me, Mark Blair. What's up? Yes, that is not my name. That is not my name at all. Oh, well, what is your name then? <laughs> it is, it is simply Markiplier. Your Lord, Markiplier. N nice to meet you, Markiplier. My name is Nico. Ha! Got it. I actually heard someone. They said their name is Markiplier, though. This is incredible. It seems the recorded name was incorrect. Updating database. Hmm? <laughs> Update complete. Do not be afraid to ask Markiplier for assistance. And neither should you. You are the Messiah, after all. Can you tell me about... Going home? Oh, I don't mean to be rude, but I'm not sure about this. I still don't know how I got here. I was just with my mama a few hours ago, and now it feels like I'm in a bad dream. I just want to go home. Your mission is to save our world, just as my mission is to tell you about our world. I am unable to help you beyond my programming. I am sorry. Oh. I think that's all I have for ask for now. Excellent! I wish you luck. Alrighty then. Hello again. Are there more questions you wish to ask? Hmm? Can you tell me about the Barrens? It's so empty here. That's why it's called the Barrens. Are there any people living in this area? Besides robots, I mean. I do not know. I was not built to wander. Not built to? So you just stand here? Must be boring. 
Do you at least have friends? Robot friends? I cannot desire companionship. I have not been tamed. Not tamed? There was no time. I see. Hello again. Are there more questions? Oh man, this is kind of sad for this guy. So, what is this prophecy exactly? The prophet predicted that a savior will arrive from another land. The savior will wake up in a strange house, find the sun, and illuminate the world. Oh, what else did you foresee? What do you mean? What else did you see in the prophecy? Uh, uh! Wait, you are the prophet, right? Good heavens, no! But you called it my prophecy earlier. That just means it is built into my programming. Your what? Ah, my programming is what guides me. I am a robot after all. I see. One last question to ask. How tall is the tower? I can't even see the top. I am not allowed to answer that question. But how do I get up there? In time, Markiplier will know what to do. I see... Yeah, Markiplier dev never really knows what to do. Alrighty then. This is so weird. God, it's blowing my mind right now. A robot without power. Oh, it won't turn on. So there's just no power in general. It seems to be okay, just doesn't have power. Alright then, that's good to know. This box looks interesting. I wish I had something to pry it open with. I have... what do I have? I have an empty bottle, I'm gonna smash it over it. Alright, I'm gonna smash it with the light bulb. Okay, alright then, never mind. Self-charging solar battery model number 87, one year warranty included. Simply place your self-charging battery in full daylight with the lens facing up. Charges in seconds, no external power is needed. If the battery fails to charge, check to see if the lens on the side has not been dislodged during transport. One charge cycle will last about 10 days. If you notice a decline in the charge cycle within the warranty period, please contact the manufacturer. Alrighty then. Weird. A robot may not injure a living person or through inaction allow a person to come to harm. 2. A robot must obey the orders given to it by people except where such orders would conflict with the first law. A robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. So those are the three laws of robotics. Oh, map of the world. The tower just keeps going up. Holy shit. This is so cool. Like, already, I'm barely scratching the surface of this game, and I... The world is huge. It's hard to do that so quickly. The use of a robot as our replacement head engineer seems unorthodox, especially for the one responsible for last year's incident. I suppose they had to get her away from the city, but that doesn't make it easier to swallow for those of us who work here. I hope that man knows what he's doing. I mean, maybe. I don't know. I don't know who you're talking about, so... I don't know. It's a faded poster. Reminder to all workers, the rarest form of blue phosphor is found during this phosphor shrimp spawn period. If you observe a pond with a bubbled over surface, please contact management immediately. We will dispatch a harvest team ASAP. Alright. They need phosphor. It's a faded poster. Five new positions available at the mines. Housing and other provisions are included upon hiring. First come, first serve. I bet that's because people died. Oh boy. Dusty shelves. Just nothing but dusty shelves all through here. Hello. What do we have here? A page with faded ink. Able to provide power to all robots and machinery in an area via a large electromagnetic field. Maintenance efforts are quite high as expected. We have provided customized backup cells for the few most important robots. Their electromagnetic fields are much weaker and the signals are highly specific. In other words, these small cells can only charge one single... Probably one single time. There are a lot of small glowing shrimp in the jar. Interesting. Some sort of small machine, I wonder what it does. I can feel my hair standing up a little. So that's probably providing power. It's a big machine. Doesn't seem to be doing anything though. Rectangle shaped hole in the middle. Like something used to fit here. I bet that's what those one of those uh, rechargeable batteries fits in there. That's what they were talking about before. Nothing but dusty shelves. So I've got to find a battery. Maybe I could take it out of here. Maybe I could take the power out of there. Hmm. Nope. Okay. Gonna move on. Try to find something else. Man. The mines of the barons. Hello. What is this? Ah, I don't like this. 
Robot sitting on a conveyor belt, no power. Robot, okay, just doesn't have power. And none of these things have power, everything just ran out. Like when the light goes out, I guess everything just stops. Makes you wonder what has- what's gonna happen when our sun runs out. Press use to crush metal, maybe a recycling plant of some sort? Or an assembly plant. Robot beyond repair. What's that sound? Oh, it's still working! I don't know why. Hello, can I stop you? Why would you want to smash a bottle here, Markiplier? The shards would get everywhere. Well, I could smash the light bulb. Markiplier! I am not gonna put the sun here! Oh, okay. <laughs> I just got an achievement. Chaotic evil. Good for me. Alrighty then. Didn't mean to do that. Just a head. Yikes. Alright, so there's gotta be some sort of metal piece that I can crush in that thing. Just not the bottle or the bulb. Cause that would be... That would be reckless and probably kill everybody in this entire world and I don't want to do that. Oh, hello. Whoa, cool. So that must be where the shrimp go. That... Those tracks seem a little wonky. No, nothing there. Where does that lead? I don't even know where I'm going. I don't even know if there's a place that I'm supposed to be going. All I know is that I'm going. Although the poisonous gas is highly localized to the vent zones, barren workers were still recommended to wear gas masks. These gas masks were mandatory around active vent sites, of course. As more and more of the workforce got replaced by robots, we found ourselves with a surplus of abandoned gas masks. It seemed like a waste to get rid of them all, so we kept a few for emergencies. Alright, good to know. I guess. So, does that mean that there's gonna be gas masks that I might need in the future? I- I don't know. Ooh, wait, there's something over there. Hello, what do we have here? A metal safe. Seems like it's locked with a six-digit code. Nah, I ain't got nothing. I- nah, that wasn't it. I know! My guidance has led you astray. I'm sorry, I'm not all-knowing. Oh man, where am I going? Why is this just a labyrinth of mazes? XXXXXXX. With mining operations going smoothly, materials are no longer our limiting factor. We will be able to build more resilient robots both in body and mind. Specifically, the discoverer of Metal Alloy 291 will likely allow the development of highly efficient circuitry. Okay, good thing for Metal Alloy 291 then, I guess. But to what end, you know? Like, to what end? Why did the light go out in the first place? Who put it out? Did someone put it out or did it just burn out? Why is their sun just a light bulb? Whoa, hello. A robot, no power, just like the rest. And in a field of clovers. Wait, what is that? What is that? Oh, is that like a shovel digger thing? Yeah. Weird. Where am I going? Hello? Hi! Who are you? The light bulb. So. Are you the messiah? That's what I've been told. I expected someone taller. That's what I hear every time I walk in the room! Or at least someone that doesn't look like a kitten. That's what you are, right? Some sort of cat? No, uh I'm a person. You got the eyes of a cat. But cats walk on four legs! Well, either way. A child like you being the messiah just doesn't feel right. But that robot uh, back there says there's no mistake! I know. <sighs> this is going to sound cold, but I honestly think you're better off just leaving and letting the world die naturally. The world has been falling apart for a long time. This manner of decay, it's highly improbable that the sun can fix it. You've already seen how bad it can get, right? We haven't seen much of anything, actually. And we can't really just leave. Oh, so you just got here? Then you must be headed towards the tower. Mm-hmm. That's where I'm supposed to put the light bulb! Mm, sun, isn't it? Yes, at the very top. We know that the tower contains a force that nobody could comprehend. And the power is strongest at the summit. Maybe it will send you back home after you complete your mission. Oh! Don't take my word for it, though. Alright, well, what should I do then? Alright, thanks for talking to me! Try for intruding on your house! Dear Silver, I heard the news about the mines. I'm sorry, I can't imagine what you're feeling. It's been two weeks. I know it must be hard, but maybe it's better you, you came back. It's only a matter of time before the robots are recalled. At least let me know you got my message, okay? Kill. 
Wow. Please do not touch that. Sorry, I got curious. What is this thing? Backup power cell. It keeps me functional. The main generator for the Barrens ran out of power some time ago. It, it could not even last a week without the sun. Sorry to hear that. All we can do is make use of the light we have. Really? A shelf of weird tools and pieces of metal. Something is poking out from the shelf. It's a screwdriver! You can take it if you want. It may help you. Are you sure? Yes, I, I have many. Thank you. So I got a screwdriver! Yay! Maybe I can crush it in the metal crusher. Lots of tiny shrimp are swimming in this jar. Huh. That's so weird. What's inside the tower? I don't know. Nobody's ever entered it before. At least nobody his nobody history knows. Then who built it? Built? As far as anyone can tell, it's been there since the beginning of time. I know someone who wanted to study it before, but... Oh? He never told me if it went anywhere. Oh. Did he die? It's a photo of two people. The glass is a bit too foggy to see the details, though. A shelf of weird tools. It's a metal chess table covered in dust. I haven't played chess with anyone for a very long time. Not even with other robots? No. Nobody in the Barrens have that capacity in their programming. Nobody here is tamed, for that matter. What is taming? Is that... Is that person a robot? It's a crate. It's a bed. Made of metal? It doesn't look very comfortable. Well, I'm guessing a robot wouldn't need comfort. Do you need further assistance? Well, good, thanks! Don't speak for me, Nico! I want to ask questions. Okay. Well, I got a screwdriver. I guess I could head back. I have a feeling like I missed a lot of stuff back there, so I might as well take this and reconvene, but I- Like, I'm so confused about this world. What is it- Like, what does it entail? Like, what's happening here? And I- and like, it's so weird, cause... It's acknowledging that I'm literally helping... To do something in this world. I don't even know what, but I'm doing something. Markiplier, there's something in the air here. It hurts to breathe. Ah, we need a gas mask for that! Me and my divine knowledge gleaned something from a note that you may have missed about a surplus of gas masks. Maybe you want to go find that. But first, there's a note over here on this twisty, windy road. And then up- oh, never mind, I guess I already got that one. I must have got that one. I think? I don't even remember where I've been on this windy road. Oh, this is just a dead end, well damn it! Markiplier should have known about that! Markiplier apologizes for oversight. Markiplier should have a better memory about these things. Okay, uh, yeah, I've been here. Maybe I could use the jar, or like, the bottle that I have. No, just take that. Try to scoop up some? Nah. Cause I imagine that's full of shrimp and the only source of light that they have... ...are these weird glowing shrimp. And that's literally all they have for solar energy. And besides the tower and, and this sun that I'm holding in my hands. Which is such a weird concept to think about. Like, for s why is that tower there? Why does that tower only run with this light bulb? And where did I come from to make it happen? And where do I, the person, the player, fall into all this? Like, what does it mean? Why is it all here? Like, what's my purpose here? Oh, hello. Well, that's where I came from. So what's the rest of it? Is there anything even over here? Apparently the answer is yes. Okay, the answer is yes. I don't know where I'm going, but... Alright. Man. So is there still more light as you go towards the center? It's a metal pipe. Must have broken off from one of these terminals. Well, I got some metal to smash! I'm gonna smash it up! I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Yeah, go ahead! Go for it! Oh my god! What? The game just closed! I'm trying to load it back up. Is it not working? Why is it not working? Load. Load, please. Run the game! Okay. Hello. Hi! Oh! 
Hello. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, hi. Markiplier, are you still there? Yes, I am here. I was worried for a moment. Ah, I'm awake. I had a dream just now. I, I was watching. You did? Wow. I, I really thought I was back home. Oh, the sun back in my home world is in a light bulb. It's a big ball of fire in the sky. I don't think I would be able to hold it like I would do if with the sun from your world. This isn't my world. Huh? This isn't the world I live in. Really? Oh, I guess not. If you're the god of this world, you wouldn't necessarily be in it. What's your home called? There's a secret. No, Earth. It's called Earth. Like the stuff from the ground? Wait, do you live underground? Yeah, sorry, I lie. Yeah, I say no. Oh, neither do we. But shrews and field mice and stuff do. Does your world have a sun? Yes, it's also a ball of fire. Why wouldn't I be able to tell Nico that? What would happen if I lied to him? I'm not mentally prepared for these choices. Really? Wow. Can you hold it? No. That was a silly question, wasn't it? Yeah, very silly. The sun in my home world is very bright. Warm, too. You saw, right? But it goes away sometimes at night. Everything gets dark, kind of like how this world is now. But it's okay, because the sun always comes back the next day. That's good, don't you think? Yeah. My world is like that, too. Ah. Do you sleep during the night? We go to sleep, usually. Some people stay up and use computers. I wouldn't know anything about that. I'm very productive and sleep fold. I don't have to explain what they are, do I? There's a bunch of them in this world. Anyway, we should probably get going. Okay, I guess, man. Ah, oh, so cool. God, that's cool. That's freaking cool. Oh, that's cool. I like it already, but I know, I know I'm going to find some way to mess this up and I really don't want to. I want to play this so carefully. <laughs> Cause I'm, I'm willing to bet I'm only reminded of the game, uh, you only have one chance to save the world from that disease that you made that killed your whole family. You remember that game that I played a while back? Oh man, I wasn't prepared for that one either. But I'm gonna do my best here, I really am. So let me know what you think of this game down in the comments below. Uh, try not to spoil it for anybody else. Uh, just keep in mind that there's a lot of new experiences coming out of this and I'm, I'm really excited to see this. I really am excited to see this because this is something special. And I can already see, tell it's gonna blow my mind right now, because, oh, it already is! I'm the god of this world, and yet I'm so scared. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments below, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye! This action will record your progress in this world. To return again to this world, you need to relaunch the application. Proceed. Sure. Oh my god. Oh no, did I just kill Nico? Ah oh god, I have no idea. Ah no! Okay, alright, I'm assuming everything's okay. Ah! Ah! Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. Bye.